Welcome back. With me is Tim Wood, and of course, he is here to give us an update on all things that are going around town in Bluffton. And unfortunately, today, this actually hits on the island too, but unfortunately today we have to start with a little bit of a sad story, and that is, of course, the tragic accident that took the life of Andrew Farbman. And I know uh, his first memorial is happening was happening a little bit earlier today. Um, but, you know, Tim, tell us about the community and how they're rallying around the family and uh, what we need to do to embrace them in this terrible time. It's just been, it's, it's unthinkable. And Andrew, it was just an amazing guy and uh, beloved by everyone for good reason. And, um, you know, yeah, there, there's, we had one, one service today and, uh, you know, there'll be a number, I have a feeling there's going to be a, a, a few different memorial type uh, celebrations of, of Andrew. And, you know, for those who want to embrace the family and help them out, help help his wife Gina, help help Lexi, help the Amigos staff. Yeah. Um, there's a GoFundMe that's been started, uh, GoFundMe.com. Andrew Farbman, everyone's friend, which could not be better said. Uh, you know, when I checked it earlier today, it was up over thirty thousand. Wow. Uh, it just shows the the support of the community, but they're definitely trying to re trying to get a little bit more and and uh, uh yeah i've never seen such an outpouring I, and and i hate hyperbole but i've never seen such an outpouring and and it's it's well deserved because he just was an incredible person yeah absolutely and of course as you said we will keep embracing the family and i know more and more tributes will be pouring in so we'll be talking about that i'm sure for the next few weeks um so we also do have some other things we want to get to and that the this is the May River cleanup, and it's kind of been a little bit di different the last couple of years. Is it back full force this year? Yeah, they're they're definitely back full force. April thirtieth, nine to eleven thirty a.m. Volunteers meet at the o Oyster Factory Park, located at the end of Wharf Street. Uh, Corner Perks going to serve coffee and hot chocolate to folks. You know, and they're definitely back full force. Uh, you know, they've removed over fifty thousand pounds of litter from the river and and wow. the historic district over the last 20 years. So Amazing. it's a, it's a great event, especially for newcomers um, to really just get involved in the community. Yeah, absolutely. And so important to get that trash out of our river. We want oh, yeah. it clean. Uh, and this is a really kind of a fun thing. So we have somebody in the Bluffton area who's part of the Junior Roller Derby League. I didn't even know that existed. So tell us about that. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. so, you know, Savannah has a, a roller derby team and they actually have a junior team called the, 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 the Derby Taunts and like debutante. Right, got uh, it. <laughs> Lily Head, I, I figured, you're, you're sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Head, she's a 15 year old. She's actually been doing it for four years now. She's a wow. jammer on, on the, the junior taunts. They call her Slammer Head. Wow. And she's been the MVP of a couple games. Um, there's also another teen who actually just started from Bluffton, Reese Allspa, and she's on the team. She's a newbie. She actually just got promoted from fresh meat to level one this nice. week ahead of their okay. game on April 30th, which is in Savannah, their first game in front of live fans again. It's at the Star Palace. So, um, well, there's this, excuse me, the, the Star Castle. Um, five dollars to go if if you want to go. It starts at nine thirty a.m. Well, that sounds like a blast, and I like I like I said, who knew? But how much fun! And so let's talk a little bit about restaurant news. We've got about a minute left right now, and I know Bojangles is leaving. Some people are not so happy about it. Some people don't mind that it's going. And then we have some new restaurants, Kira and Mama G's. Give us the scoop on that. For sure, yes. Yeah. So uh, Bojangles has taken down all the signs. You know, there's some signs of life in terms that Jake Higgins, a local businessman, he's he's already expressed interest in the property. So okay. we'll see what happens there. In terms of uh, coming, some couple of great restaurants, Kira Seafood uh, Grill out in Riverwalk, uh, phenomenal. Actually, had dinner there with the family this the past weekend. Uh, great seafood restaurant that took over the Cornerstone Cafe, and then Mama G's Pizza Bistro and Bar and Bar at Mill Creek. Um, this New Jersey couple, the Graces, they've been trying to get this open for, you know, with all the construction delays, but they are finally yeah. open and they are boasting. Uh, early word is phenomenal pizza. Excellent. Well, everybody's always looking for the next best pizza around here. It's definitely a topic oh, yeah. of conversation. So thank you for sharing with all of that about us. And it's good to know that Bojangles might not be sitting empty for too long. I love that, too. So um, thanks, as always, for your great update. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Betsy.
Thank you to everyone who joined the show today for their insights and contributions. Thank you to my wardrobe sponsor, SM Bradford Company and Currents for today's look. Of course, our production team is behind the scenes to make all of this possible. And we are honored that you have chosen to share a part of your day with us. And we'll see you for the next WHHI-TV Daily News.